Sadie uh, came in for just a well puppy check. What we do is we look at the eyes and ears, we listen to the heart, and look at all the joints and make sure everything's working out like it should. Well, when we came to the hind end, we noticed Sadie didn't have a tail. So then I noticed her vulva stuck out at a really weird angle. So, and then I, I tried to look under the tail for an anus, and it was hard for me to find it. So what we're gonna do is give Sadie a little bit of a sedation, and we're gonna look and see if we can find the anus. So we're, we're going to hold Sadie down, and if you hear a little squealing, don't be alarmed, because the puppies do not like restraint, and they don't like injections, so we'll see how how Sadie takes this injection. This is an injection of Dex Dormitor. So, as we look, I might have said it uh, previously that I was looking for the anus and I was trying to see if it had one, but more accurately, I think that the anus, I think that the, this is the vulva, and, and I think the anus is right there. So there's a shelf between the two. Now, let me get a thermometer, and I think when it poops, it's kind of pooping over the vagina. Sounds like a song. I'm gonna use my thermometer, and you can see, the, the actually, you can see the anal sphincter working, and and actually, I can, well, I don't know if I can. Yeah, there it goes. So the, the thermometer's going up into the anus, and then there's a shelf here, and then the vagina is down here. Now, what is that gob of mucus? That's a gob of mucus. That's a puppy vaginitis. Is, um, is a condition puppies get as their mucosa of their vagina gets used to the bacteria and yeast of the world. And sometimes they make a little exudate. So this little puppy also has an enlarged clitoris. That's that thing that right near my fingers. And it means it could have testicles a lack of ovaries or be between the sexes and also it's got the anus attached to the top of the vagina so with dex dormitor we can give a injection in the muscle to uh, reverse the effects of the sedation and within minutes she will come to and so this little puppy has uh, enlarged clitoris, which means it kind of could be a pseudo hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. We wouldn't know unless we could see if it had testicles and ovaries or both or either. Um, it has the anus attached or very close to the vag vagina, and the shelf that usually separates them is incomplete. So the poop that falls down over the vagina could actually be sucked up into the vagina and cause vaginal infections and urinary infections um, and it doesn't have a tail it was born without a whole tail so puppy may or may not have problems um, I, we don't know what the what the owners uh, decided to do um, they were going to go back and talk to the breeders and then there as a family they were going to decide whether they were going to keep the puppy or not um, you could possibly do a surgery and reconstruct that little shelf, but there might be a lot of problems. You'd have, probably have to do it later in the puppy's life, and they can always irritate and tear the surgery apart. So there's a lot to think about, but I just thought it might be interesting for you to see the anatomical uh, situation where you have a kind of a cross between a male and a female called hermaphrodite or pseudohermaphrodite with an enlarged uh, clitoris also an incomplete uh, separation of the anus and the vagina check out dog dish diet if you want to find out about how to feed a dog to get rid of their food allergies and also make them feel better make their coat shine a little better or if you want to try to home cook and because you don't really uh, trust the food where the food's coming from that you're feeding or you just want to try some recipes on your own that's dogdishdiet.com. Have a great day.